been a while since anything's happened on Etsy, but I got one this morning. So it was an emotional roller coaster when selling like an original, because like first, fuck. I like the feeling of things leaving the house. But then there's always that slight moment of panic where I'm just like, okay, I have to find. Oh, this is heavy. Help me, you guys. <laughs> this whole thing is packed, filled with paintings, which is the reason why after a certain point, I'm just like, I don't want to paint anymore. I don't know if I should stick all of these back into my sketchbook. I'm looking for this one. I think it was about dreaming of big things. This was when I had a real problem with looking at housing listings and stuff. Daydreaming about a place to live that had an art studio in it, stuff like that. As fun as it is to daydream about stuff, it makes you less happy with what your life is doing. Because right now, now that I've stopped daydreaming about having a house with an art studio, I love our little apartment. I'm so much happier this year feeling guilt than I ever did feeling less guilt, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, my project for next week is I was going to do an entire tiny sketchbook, and I'm wondering if I should just use this one, because I'm trying to find a sketchbook that is small enough that I could complete in a week without going nuts over it, but big enough to be a bit of a challenge. But I also wanted it to be accessible enough to inspire people to try a project like that. This one's kind of cute. I think it's too many pages, though. Yeah, I don't want to work during my holiday. I do want to have a nice time. You know, there's this one. I like this one. Um, using pencil crayon in this is really nice. Choices, guys. Choices. I'm delaying. Putting it off. How am I supposed to leave you here alone? Sort of. Mostly. Hanging out in the shade, they just <laughs> spooked that turkey vulture over there. Look at that guy over there. So, what I've been doing with the water, I've been using a very, very small amount of water, like just barely, and so and I. Um, rinse my brush out. I just wipe it on this towel and then when I'm done I will stick this paper towel I will stick this paper towel into the cup and it will soak up all the water and then I leave the towel to dry in the sun so that it evaporates all the water and then all the paint will be in the in the paper towel and then I can just keep using it when it's dry or and then when I get home I'll just toss it I guess <laughs> instead of just dumping the water out somewhere these are all the supplies I brought this year. Black and white paint. I have my tint gouache and a regular yellow. Some Faber Castells. I tried to like limit myself to whatever I could fit in this bag and I kind of regret my choices a little bit. So if I need a blue, this is all I can use. If I needed a dark blue, same with the red. I got a couple of lining brushes. I have a very small selection of pencil crayons that I chose. And that's it, that's like literally all that I have to fill this whole sketchbook with. There's something moving. Yeah. Got some. 
pick something. Oh! Shit. That is a threatening glare. One thing that I really like about this tiny sketchbook, because it has a variety of papers, it's kind of spaced out in such a way as to automatically plan out a variety of things. So I've glued down a little bit of collage to help me. There's a little bit of Yupo in here. And then I had all these colored pages that look really good with pencil crayon. So that's what kind of what I've been um, going through first. These wide spreads of cheap paper I'm using for like art journaling style. And then I got these pieces of vellum in here that look really cool. Um, so I'm using those for thoughtful, cartoony things of the cat. I'm trying to like make a little story, so I went in and I added a little bit of text. There's fewer colored papers in the back, but I was going to save the second half for all of the animals I keep seeing. Because um, that's when he takes off his helmet and finally gets to experience the world as he should and so that's where all the animals are going to come in it, they, there's no fish anywhere um and you know there's no birds in this tree there's nothing there's nobody actually around in the first half so he's just alone it's supposed to be a lonely feeling well they go so super fast with the current Of course, I spilled an entire bottle of water all over everything, including my library book. It's only because I had my sketchbook and a bunch of like collage papers with me that my camera and my Game Boy didn't like get completely ruined. They just got a little damp all as well, except for maybe the library book. Yeah, my sketchbook got a little bit messed up. The theme for my little project was I was going to use my little astronaut cat character. And while he has his helmet on, he finds nobody. He is completely alone. And it isn't until later on in the book when he takes his suit off and dares to enter the world um, vulnerable and as he is, that he begins to meet all of these interesting creatures and make friends and become like part of his surroundings and part of his nature. Something that I really hope that I could do for myself someday. Isn't this the prettiest river you've ever seen? Binged up my leg good though.